Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game from Scratch. Today, we're going to talk about Lumberyard. There was a new version of Lumberyard released, and I would love to show it to you. But uh, no, this isn't that video. This is a different video. This is a video in which I kind of I give up. Honestly, I, I, I try not to give up, but I give up. Now, first off, a little backstory. Lumberyard is a game engine. It is a fork from CryEngine from Crytek. Uh, Crytek got into some trouble a couple of years back. Financially, they needed bailing out. Uh, Amazon got a fork of it, and they've been offering the Lumberyard game engine since. And they're still calling it a beta, but let's be honest here. It's been five years now, I think. And uh, you really can't hide behind the beta term anymore. But 1.24 was just released today. Well, actually, not today. It was actually released uh, May 15th. Uh, but... I wanted to get it up and running and show it to you. And uh, as so many of the videos have gone in the past when it deals with Lumberyard, there's just so much pain involved that I give up. I just, so I, I guess that's what this video is about. It's, it's about me giving up on Lumberyard. And it's a shame because Lumberyard has so many positives going for it. Again, it's built on CryEngine, but they've gone their own way. They've done their own things with it. And as you can see from the release notes here, there's a bunch of things they have added to it. Script Canvas got improved. Physics support is in there. It updates to the core editor and much, much more. And it kind of goes down and down and on. And one thing I was really hoping that we would see here, here's the full release notes, by the way. And I will show the release notes in the linked article down below. So if you want to get into more of the details about what it's all about, they are down there. And one of the big things that was in this release that I really was happy for is that they finally have support for Visual Studio 2019. So I don't have to install an old or obsolete version of Visual Studio. So I kind of looked forward to that. I was kind of hoping they made their onboarding process better. Um, they didn't. Uh, it's it's still terrible. I would show you the first project I created, but unfortunately it is no longer here. I did a build, it failed, it's gone. So then I went ahead to the starter game. I added a couple of gems to it. Gems are their add-on system, the way of extending or expanding upon uh, Lumberyard itself. And as soon as I added a gem, yeah, it failed too. And um, I, I, I don't know why, it just failed. And, and when you're looking at, oh, okay, here, let's get to the next part. Uh, here is my Amazon folder in my dev directory. Let's go take a look at how big this is. It is, um, yeah, let's see. Oh, it's 40 megabytes. Oh, sorry, 40 gigabytes in size. So yeah, and by the way, I started installing this at about uh, 2, 2 p.m. today. It's currently 9 p.m. today. Uh, so it took about five and a half hours to do the initial install and about one and a half hours to do the first build. And you know what? I, I get that game engines are big and unwieldy things in this day and age. Uh, but even Unreal Engine takes a fifth of this time to install, and it's even bigger. And I'm not saying that that bigger is by any means a good thing. It's just, honestly, Lumberyard, to start being taken seriously, you got to make this onboarding experience better. Because I, I literally have a career that involves installing game engines on a daily basis. And the one when there's a new release that I pull my hair out every single time I see it, it's Lumberyard. And every new release, I think to myself, okay, this one is going to be special. This is going to be the one where I don't ram my head against a wall until I'm bleeding. And unfortunately, as I'm recording this with blood dripping down my face, I improved once again. Nope, it's still that bad. And I really really want it to not be because there are some really great things about Lumberyard. It's completely free. It's a AAA game engine they make available completely for free so long as you use their online services or your own, which is a pretty you know, admirable trait. There's a bunch of people working on Lumberyard. There's definitely at Amazon resources behind Lumberyard and the development team behind it are definitely dedicated. They want to see Lumberyard succeed. And I've talked to a few of them. I know that they are 100% behind this product. But if nobody can install your product, what's the point of it? And, and I guess that's kind of where I'm leaving this one. Again, I can get into the details of what is new in Lumberyard 1.24. Uh, there's some nice stuff here. Again, their new their, uh, script canvas visual scripting thing got improvements. We got a bunch of bug improvements across the board. Of course, Visual Studio 2019 support, that is great to see. We're pretty much at the point where we can leave 2017 behind in the uh, dustbin of history, which is great to see. A uh, bunch of uh, improvements across the board, even nicer. We've got some community contributions, including C++ hot loading, which is awesome to see via a gem which is unfortunate because 
when you go to build Lumberyard, you're going to find that gems is where you run into a wall and everything falls apart in the first place. But that is also very nice to see. So we've got a lot of improvements here, and I will link them uh, down below. So if you want to, and if you've gone through the pain cycle of getting on board with Lumberyard, there's some, some things to admire here. Unfortunately, once again, after release, after release, after release, the, the process of starting is just, it's not worth it. And we're living in a day and age where you can get uh, now you can have Unreal Engine for free up to $1 million. Uh, Unity keeps improving. Uh, Godot is open source and free. Uh, now we just saw the default game engine you know, come free. Uh, the CryEngine is improving. And I actually, ironically enough, find CryEngine, the original source behind all of this, about a thousand times easier to install and get up and running than Lumberyard. I, I just, I, I can't recommend Lumberyard. And I want to, I would love to, and hopefully it gets better. Hopefully the onboarding experience improves. Uh, but at this point in time, a five-hour install process to only spend two hours building your code to have it fail and fail and fail. Uh, I don't know. What else can I say? All right, so that's it. That's that's kind of an interesting video, but hopefully you found it useful. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Did you get a Lumberyard up and running? Uh, if so, uh, <laughs> please tell me the magical way you did. Uh, are you interested in Lumberyard? Uh, let me know all these things. Comments down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.